very guilty about going, Mr. Hallow. Especially at such short notice. Oh, but you must, Amelia. If your Aunt Gertrude is as ill as she sounds, someone's got to look after her. I could be away for some time, though. Don't worry, Miss Cackle. The staff and I will cope. Poor Constance, you've got so much to do as it is. Oh, well. To be honest, I think we should get someone else to fill in. Fill in? As headmistress. A senior witch who's between jobs or something. I see. Well, you're chair of governors, if that's what you want. Well, it better be someone good, Mr. Hallow. I don't wish to return to find my academy in chaos. Hopper? You won't, I promise. Hmm. Off you go. Up and away. Where's Miss Cackle off to? I've heard she's going away for a few weeks. Not that it makes much difference to us. It'll still be the same old cackles, won't it? It's a magic transportation machine. The ultimate means of travel. The idea is to get you from one place to another without the boring bits in between. How does that feel? Fine. Right, you just stand still a moment. What are you going to do? I'm just going to try a simple test. I'm going to transport you from there to the other side of the room without you having to do a thing. Don't worry, you'll be OK. Someone's confident. Ready? Here we go. Wow. Great. How did that feel? Well... Ah! Help! Oh, oh, no. What's happening? I don't know. It shouldn't oh. do that. Ruby, stop this thing! Ruby! Oh, stop! Oh, all right, Melly! Help! Oh. Ruby! Oh. Ruby, stop it! Oh. Ruby, can't you make it stop? Oh. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh. Are you all right, Melly? Now I know what a ping-pong ball feels like. Well, I think it might be back to the drawing board. So we don't have a headmistress, Daddy? Not at this precise moment, Ethel. Although I've spent the morning trying to rectify the situation. Have you had any luck? I didn't think I was going to, but then out of the blue a name occurred to me. So I tracked the lady down by phone. Now, as it happens, she's just retired. And she's not only available, she's interested. So much so, in fact, that she's already on her way here. Who is it? Someone very well known to the Academy. Who? Might be her right now. Mistress Broomhead, might you be Mr. Hello? That's right. I do believe I had the pleasure last time I was here. Thank you so much for inviting me back to Carol's. Not at all. Do come in. Thank you. Let me introduce my lovely daughter, Ethel. Ah, charming girl. It's her. I don't believe it. It is, isn't it? That old bat of a school's inspector who came last year. Hecate Broomhead. What's she doing back here? Miss Cackle chucked her out on her ear, didn't she? You heard what Ethel's dad said. Her as headmistress. Oh, that's sickening. This will be awful. Mistress Hecate Broomhead. I think that was the name. Mr. Hallow just introduced me. That's unbelievable. Do I detect there's something wrong? There most certainly is, Lavinia. Mistress Broomhead is no friend to Cackle's Academy. When she came last year, she tried to close us down. Fortunately, we dug something up from her past which made her change her mind. The last thing I ever expected was to see her back here. Not as headmistress. Then why do you think Mr. Hallow has invited her? He probably hopes she'll give the place a good shaking up. Lavinia, I've known Mistress Broomhead for a very long time. She was my tutor at Witch Training College. She haunted me then, and she's still haunting me now. Excuse me, ladies. I'm sorry to barge in so suddenly, but I found someone to replace Miss Cackle until she returns. I don't think much introduction is required. I'm sure you'll all be as pleased as I am to welcome your former school's inspector, Mistress Hecate Broomhead. I dare say you're rather surprised to see me. You may sit 
Bianca. Some of you may recall me from my visit last year. My name is Mistress Broomhead, and I'm here to fill in for Miss Cackle while she's away. It's a tremendous honor for me to have been asked to serve such a marvelous academy, and I'm thoroughly looking forward to working with you all. Hypocrite, how dare she? In the few weeks or so that I am here, I shall seek to ensure that things continue in a way I hope Miss Cackle would expect. But I may make one or two modifications. After all, I'm certain we'd all like it if Miss Cackle came back to an even better school than the one she left. You know what that means? You there. Stand up. The girl who was speaking. Do you mean me, Mr. Spoonhead? Yes, you girl. Stand up. What is your name? Mildred Hubble, Mr. Spoonhead. Mildred Hubble. Ah, yes, I remember you. The girl with the reputation for being the worst witch in the school. We'll have words later. Sit down. Well, that didn't take long. You can always count on Mildred to put a foot in it. Quiet! If I may continue. One of the things I'm very keen on is using time productively. Time is one of the most precious commodities that we have. To help us all ensure that we don't fritter it away, I've asked for more clocks to be put up all around the school, just like the one hanging there. Notice them, refer to them. Keep reminding yourself that every minute wasted is a minute lost. By the time I leave Cackles, I would like the Academy to be running just like clockwork. Mary, don't worry. How can I have been so stupid? What'll she do to me? Oh, nothing short of physical torture, I'd have thought. Very funny, Drusilla. I don't see what the problem is. No, of course you don't, Ethel. We saw you sucking up to Broomhead in the Great Hall. Silence! Drusilla, could you give one of these to every member of the class, please? What's her name, Miss Hardbro? Time sheets, so we can keep a better check on pupils' progress. From now on, every one of you will have to fill one in, accounting for what you've achieved or not achieved in every single lesson. It's a way of helping us decide whether we need to set you more work. You are also each getting one of these, an attendance card to record your arrival at every lesson. A box like this is being placed in every class. When you arrive at a lesson, you simply place your card into the slot like so, and the exact time is printed in the appropriate place. What's the thinking behind this, Miss Hardbrook? to identify girls who are regularly late or playing truant. But surely you know that, don't you? Yes, well, thank you, Jardou. We don't need your advice. Oh. Ethel, could you give them out, please? Oh, and while I remember, Mildred, Mistress Broomhead would like to see you in the head's office at the end of the day. It's a magic tagging device. You simply clip it around your wrist. Arm up. You're to wear it all the time, even when you go to bed. What does it do? It transmits a signal back to this chart so that I can track your exact location 24 hours a day. But why, Mistress Broomhead? Because, Mildred, you have a record of appalling behaviour. Messing about. Wasting time! Don't look so innocent, girl. We both know what happened in assembly. Besides, it's all here on file. It's hard to believe you're in the same school as uh, Ethel Hello, for example, let alone the same class. Uh, from now on, Mildred, I shall be keeping a constant eye on you. A tagging device? She can't make you wear that. She's right. It's not human. I know, but what can I do? Can't you take it off? It's locked. Use magic, then. Don't be silly, Enid. If the old Bacalac's found out. It means I can't go anywhere even vaguely suspicious. No more midnight feasts, then? No. Or trips down to the Dobbs' den. In fact, it cuts out anything fun at all, including hanging out with you guys. Except in lessons. This is terrible. We've got to talk to Miss Crotchet and Miss Drill. Come on. Not you, Millie. Not with
with that on, Broomhead will wonder what's going on. Well, we do understand, girls. We don't like what's happening either. It's just as bad for us as it is for you. She's given us time sheets as well. We have to write out all our lesson plans. I've taught for decades and never had to plan my lessons. It's always worked perfectly well before. Mistress Broomhead wants to prove a point, I'm afraid, girls. She wants to leave her mark on the Academy. And we have to suffer because of that? Well, can't the teachers do something? I'm afraid not, dear. Especially not without Miss Hardbroom. And at the moment, she's being very professional and going along with things. We have to just grin and bear it. I'm sorry. What's the rush, Molly? I must be late for classes. And Dan, it's not the Eva one keeping watch. Poor Millie. She's not handling this very well, is she? Who would? We need to think something to take her mind of it all. I am amazed, Hecate. Ethel has just shown me round the school and you have transformed the place overnight. Literally. It looks so different with all these clocks up everywhere. Much more businesslike. I'm sure that'll rub off on the staff and the girl. I hope so, Mr. Hello. Time sheets, attendance cards, all excellent ideas. The best thing I can do is to leave things in your capable hands. Don't hesitate to get in touch if you need anything. I won't. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and may I say, Mr. Hello, I think your daughter is wonderful. Oh, thank you. Constance. Could we have a little chat? Look, Ward, Mr. Hallow, do you think we should say something? What do you mean, Ward? About Miss Broomhead and what she's doing to the school. He ought to know what we think. I mean, he is responsible. He's not going to take any notice of us. Excuse me, girls. Ward's right, you know. We can't let her turn this place into a prison. Before we know it, every girl in the school could be tagged. I've got to do something. Well, you'd better go after him, then. Mr. Hallow? Mr. Hallow? Yes? I'm in Ethel's class. My name is Maud Moonshine. Oh, yes. My friends and I wondered if we could have a few minutes of your time. Certainly. How can I help? The dragon! I've had some dealings with her in my time, but this is the limit. Is something the matter, Constance? I'll say there is. Mistress Broomhead has been going through my teaching records. She thinks they show glaring deficiencies. Deficiencies? Yes. My lesson plans aren't thorough enough. What right has she to say that? I get the best results of virtually every potion teacher in the country. The only failures I've ever had, I've weeded out. How dare she question my methods? I'm afraid she's been doing that to everyone. Yes, but my methods are the ones I learned from her. Oh. Of course, I, I agree with the principles of what she's trying to do here, getting the girls to work harder and more efficiently. I, I just don't like the way she's going about imposing it. And I don't like the way she's changing things behind Miss Cackle's back. It makes you wonder if she wants to take over permanently. We're stuck with her. There may be one way out. Plead with Miss Cackle to come back. What? And leave her sick aunt? Oh, we can't ask that. Can we? What are we going in here for? It's only a classroom, Millie. Mistress Broomhead won't be suspicious about that. It's not where I usually am at this time. It's a free period. You could be anywhere, couldn't you? Here we are. Oh, no, not more tests on that. Is that why you brought me here? Well, if we can't use Dobbs, it's all right. I sorted the problem out. Come on, I'll help you into it. Maybe you 
best be sure about this. You know how it made me feel last time. Don't worry. I've done some fine tuning since then. I'm only going to take you to the blackboard, OK? <sighs> What? But everyone in the school hated Mistress Broomhead. Oh no, what's happened now? That goes for the staff as well as the girls. They said that you were the only one in the whole academy who actually wanted her to be here. Take no notice. They're just troublemakers, Dad. They're friends of Mildred Hubble. Of course they're not going to want her. Oh please, Mildred, come back. As things have worked out, this could mean a big change for the school. Between you and me, I'd like to find a way to keep Mistress Broomhead on here more permanently. I said Mistress. Well, it's worth a thought. There's not much point in Mistress Broomhead bringing in all these improvements if the school just goes back to the way it was as soon as Miss Cackle returns. Come on, what's the matter with you? Don't mention this to anyone else, but I might ask the Board of Governors to give Miss Cackle early retirement and invite Mistress Broomhead to stay on in her job. I thought I'd lost you. What on earth is she doing? Hi, girls. Are you all right, Minnie? You'll never guess what I've just heard. Do you think Mr. Sproomhead would accept? Well, I've got a feeling she'd jump at it instantly. Have you asked her about it? No, but I think I will. I can't believe it. Broomhead's Academy. Miss Cackle, gone. It's what he said. We can't let this happen. We can't let her turn this place into a prison. Enid's right, but what can we do? Do about what, Mildred? Would you kindly explain your movements in the last few minutes? Um... And what is that contraption you're holding there? Um... Well... Uh... It's a transportation machine, Mistress Broomhead. It's a project I've been developing. You put it on your head and it transports you instantly from spot to spot. Ruby's just been trying it out on me. And that's why you were flitting about my chart, was it? That's right, Mistress Broomhead. Well, how enterprising. Perhaps I'd better look into this more closely. How do you mean, Mistress Broomhead? Well, it would be a great way to save time, wouldn't it? If all you girls could move around the school at the flick of a switch. A learned witch like me can appear out of thin air whenever I want to. But most of you are nowhere near that stage yet. If this could cut out all those useless hours you spend travelling, think of the extra work you could put in. I think I'd better have a demonstration. In fact, I'd like to try it myself. Are you sure, Mistress Broomhead? Yes. Why? Is there some sort of problem? No, no. Mildred, can you have the belt, please? Mistress Broomhead? Shadi, would you take Mistress Broomhead to that end of the room? What's going to happen? I don't know. It's still not working properly. What are you going to do? Keep it simple and hope for the best. Are you ready, Mistress Broomhead? Absolutely. Right, I'll just take you across the classroom, OK? Was that all right? Splendid. I'm most impressed. Oh, no, not again. What on earth's happening? I'm sorry, Mrs. Broomhead. It's not meant to do that. Oh, but it's marvellous. Breathtaking. Think how much time it would take me to walk from place to place like this. Can you make it go faster? Faster? That's great. Just the thing for a busy professional witch like me. A way of being in more than one place, nearly one time. Woohoo! Mrs. Broomhead, don't you want to stop? No, no. I want to be everywhere.
head. You're smoking. Ah, ah, I just wish to Water, water, where's the bucket? Oh, help, help! It's all right, Mr. Stormhead, hold on. Sweaters, you must take the distinctor. Look, me the artist, vapor extinguisher. Oh, goodness. Hecate, are you all right? What on earth have you done to her? I think she saves so many of what she calls those useless moments. But she's having to use them all up at once. What do you mean, Millie? I mean, you can't live life at that speed without having to pay a penalty. If you try and defy time, then time will eventually catch up with you. And it will leave you unable to function at all. What are you talking about? How dare you play dangerous tricks on your headmistress? Headmistress, is she? Miss Cackle. May I remind you, Mr. Hallow, that this is Cackle's Academy. But, uh, Amelia, what brings you back so soon? A little bird sent me a message to say not all was well. And since Auntie's condition turned out to be not as serious as we thought, I decided it would be a good idea to return. It seems I've arrived none too soon, Mr. Hallow. Pleasure to see Mistress Hecate Broomhead again. Mr. Hallow seemed to think she'd be staying for quite a while, Miss Cackle. Or so he told Ethel in the courtyard. What? Oh, I don't think Mistress Broomhead will need to spend much more time here. In fact, I don't think she'll be spending much more time here. back in charge. Thank goodness for that. Oh, give up, Ruby. You'll never get it to work. It saved us all, though, didn't it? In a manner of speaking. Look, girls, no tag. Free again. Great. Anyway, you lot, I'm off. Where are you going, Ruby? Back to my room. The quick way. See you later. <laughs> Damn it, she's really gone. Ruby? Ruby? Help! Help! I hope she's ended up where she wanted. 